Hey, sports fans, we're back at it again, and today we're here to talk about one of the fastest and freakiest athletes to ever step onto a football field in recent memory. That athlete is the cheetah himself, Tyreek Hill. Known as a burner, every time he touches the ball, Tyreek Hill is far from a one-trick pony deep threat and has gone from a role player on the Chiefs' offense to one of its biggest pieces. With Pat Mahomes at the helm, the Chiefs have turned into one of the league's best offenses, and the field-stretching Hill is now slowly being regarded as one of the best receivers in the game. But there are things you probably don't know, and today we're taking a look at 10 things you didn't know about Tyreek Hill. But before we dive in, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so that you can stay up to date on this channel and all things football. All done? All right. Let's go. Starting off at number 10, Tyreek Hill was projected to go undrafted. Tyreek Hill's journey to where he is today is quite a roller coaster. The Juco standout that made his way to Oklahoma State, Tyreek Hill beat the odds as an undersized wide receiver, running back, kick returner, Swiss Army knife. During a successful year at Oklahoma State where Hill had already racked up over 1,800 all-purpose yards, he was dismissed after committing domestic violence against his pregnant girlfriend. Hill would get a second chance and resurface at West Alabama, but come nowhere close to his Oklahoma State University numbers, but still got a shot to showcase his speed at West Alabama's Pro Day. Despite showing out on the 40 in all of his drills, Hill's stock had plummeted because of his unspeakable domestic violence arrest. Hill slid to the Chiefs in the fifth round of the 2016 NFL Draft and was considered very lucky to even be selected. Number 9. Tyreek Hill's Tattoos Serve a Purpose Tyreek Hill had a troubled past, and he knows he has a lot to attain for following his domestic violence arrest back in college where he punched his pregnant girlfriend in the stomach. He doesn't know if everyone will ever forgive him, but he has Forgive Me tattooed on his neck as a way to ask the Lord's forgiveness. Hill has stated that it is up to God to forgive him for the things that he has done, and although he can only hope people will eventually forgive him for the crimes he's committed in his life, he's hoping that God will. Number 8. Tyreek Hill has won a gold medal Back in high school, Tyreek Hill was a legendary speedster and track phenomenon who took his talents to Barcelona to compete in the World Junior Championships. Hill competed in the 200-meter dash, the 100-meter relay, and brought home the bronze and gold, respectively. Hill led the nation in high school in the 200-meter dash, falling just one hundredth of a second shy of the national record. His time of 20.14 seconds would have been good enough to place him in sixth in the 2012 London Olympics. Could you imagine a high schooler finishing sixth in the Olympics? I guess if your name's Tyreek Hill, that notion is a little less crazy. Number 7. Grades kept Tyreek Hill from going to Georgia After Tyreek Hill burned up the track and the football field his senior year at Coffey High School, offers came raining down on Tyreek Hill from far and wide. The Georgia native wanted to stay local and chose Georgia, but didn't have the grades and ended up having to attend junior college. Now, Tyreek did his thing at Garden City Community College and then gained interest from the likes of Alabama, but ended up choosing Oklahoma State. We don't know where Tyreek would have been if his grades allowed him to go directly to Georgia, but things happen for a reason, and Tyreek's career seems to have turned out just fine. Number 6. Tyreek Beat Terrell Owens in a Race Normally, Tyreek Hill beating someone in a race wouldn't make headlines, but when the person is a Hall of Famer, it gets our attention. This past summer, Tyreek Hill and Terrell Owens decided to let their feet do the talking for a change after they set up a race to see if T.O. could come anywhere close to beating Tyreek Hill. Tyreek, who is still enjoying his prime, gave T.O. a 10-yard head start and came just short of beating Owens in the 100-yard dash. The two then did a 40-yard dash, and even though T.O. lost, he didn't lose as much as you'd think someone closer to 50 than 40 would. The race showed just how quick Tyreek Hill is and just how legendary Owens is for even keeping up. The retired NFL star still vies for a shot in the league after that race. It looks like less of a joke and something that maybe one GM may want to consider? I don't know. Number 5. Tyreek has almost no body fat We know Tyreek is fit, 
But when Tyreek Hill made claims that his body fat was down to a dangerously low 1%, many people began to question if he was lying or if that was even possible for an athlete. Doctors, trainers, and other athletes alike weighed in and said that Tyreek must have been speaking in hyperbole and that there was no way he could be down to 1%. Tyreek later backed down from the statement and said that the way he had been eating and training, he probably has almost no body fat and that he knows that being that low is basically impossible. But he felt like he was in the best shape of his life. Realistically, people think Tyreek is in the 5% body fat range, which is still ridiculous. Number 4. He's a part of the All-Decade Team Since coming into the league in 2016, Tyreek has gone from a kick returner playing receiver to one of the most dangerous wideouts in the NFL. His sub-4-3 speed may not even do Hill justice as he's consistently been one of the fastest people who steps on the football field every Sunday according to Next Gen Stats. Game speed is different than 40 times, and when Tyreek turns on the Jets, there's simply no one that can catch him. Another thing that's been apparent since Hill stepped onto the football field is that he's one of the best. His five seasons between 2016 and 2020 were enough to land him on the All-Decade team, which shows just how far Hill has come after All-Pro corner Jalen Ramsey called him just a return specialist. Ramsey will be returning those words to wherever they came from as Hill has turned himself into one of the league's best and even looks to still be improving. Number 3. Tyreek Hill Helps Coach a High School Football Team Tyreek Hill is an assistant coach and works primarily with the wide receivers, giving them all the tips and advice that's been passed down to him during his playing career. Hill said that it takes the right motivation to get these kids to the league, and that's something Hill should know something about after not having the clearest path to the NFL. Being a coach is something Tyreek is very passionate about, and he says he wants to pursue coaching when his playing days are over. Hill's father coached him since he was young, and he said that's when the idea of being a coach kind of started. Number two, he wanted to create an Olympic relay team with the Kansas City Chief members to compete at the Pan Am Games or in Tokyo. When you remember that Hill was a junior Olympian and that he has fellow speedsters like Hardman and Williams on the team, it's not that crazy. Hill wants to show the sprinting world that football players need to be taken seriously. And if Hill can get four Kansas City Chiefs to compete in the relay, we'd be here for it. As long as Tyreek is running the anchor, Tyreek feels that entering the Olympics as a solo sprinter may be easier, but it would be hard to properly train during an NFL season. We don't know if this one's ever going to happen, but if it does, our money is on Tyreek at least making the team. Number 1. Tyreek Hill used to think Patrick Mahomes was trash at football. Now, hear me out. When Patrick Mahomes first came into Chiefs training camp, he wasn't the same Patrick Mahomes you see today. Hill's first impression on Mahomes is that he was an average quarterback and that he was nothing special. In Tyreek's own words, he was trash. Tyreek didn't really go into specifics, but said the Pat Mahomes he saw in year two was a completely different guy than the number 15 that showed up to training camp. Good thing Pat didn't take the comments too seriously and instead wanted to win over his receiver with his cannon for an arm and would throw Hill 70 plus yard bombs with accuracy to show Hill that his deep accuracy was second to none. It looks like the two have smoothed out all their issues, humorous or real, and are now one of the deadliest duos in the National Football League. Alright sports fan, that ends our time on one of the fastest athletes to step on any field and one of the most dangerous wide receivers to ever play the game. Let us know what you thought about the list. Anything we left off, drop us a line down in the comments. Let us know. And if you haven't already done so, click that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on our channel. Until next time, sports fans.